All right, we're gonna make a map screen like you'd see in a Mario game. All right, so map one, I guess. We're gonna make it 16 by 16. And it's gonna be red. That might give someone a seizure, so let's make it longer. And for the heck of it, let's add reverse. Alright, that looks good. Um. Uh, wait, so we need to add another object. We're going to name this object level select. And then let's give it a game start event. And let's add variable global dot level select if you're wondering what global dots is um it's like it applies to all objects and it is never deleted or changed unless you change it we're gonna set it to one because we're gonna start out at level one pretty much um now we're gonna do object object room ch check and we're yeah again we're gonna give it no spray in its create event we're gonna make it uh low blue dots room check global dot yeah room and check is zero and in the room end event we're gonna make it global dot I did something wrong here uh, we don't need this yeah okay make this global dots level select is one relative that means it, it's added um let's make your create event for this actually put this step event in the code we're gonna add if Global dot level select is equal to one visible equals true. Else instance destroy. Okay. Now we're going to um, duplicate this and make it object map level 2. I'm going to change this to 2. And now we need to make another sprite and we're going to call it SPR back. And uncheck transparent. We're going to make it 
this is gonna be a button, so this can be like an like a flag that your player touches or something. I'm gonna make an object named object back. I'm gonna give it this bright SBR back. Um you can make this a uh, collision if you want. I don't care. This is just an example. We're gonna go to a different room. Um we don't have any rooms. Uh we're gonna name it this one level select and we're gonna name this one level one we're gonna add in some objects to this one back can go in the corner here um and room check can go here we're gonna duplicate it we're gonna name it level two All right. Level select, fade out and in. All right. Now for this one, what we're gonna do mouse left released. Level one, fade out and in. And just do the same thing for this one, except with level 2. And in object level select, we're going to make a step event. And we're going to name, give it some code. I'm going to say, if global.level select is equal to 1. Instance creates fifteen, comma, fifteen, comma, object level map level one and okay. Now we're going to copy this paste it, change this to 2, change this to 2, and we're going to make this one 45. Let's see if this works. No, it doesn't. And do you know why? We didn't add no level select into the room. Alright, now it should work. We're gonna go to level 1. We're gonna go back. And level 2 will be here. No, I'm gonna be at captions. Just... Alright, now let's test it. Click on this one, and you go to level one. I'm gonna go back. Click on this one, and you go to level two. Go back. The end. Later.